I'm Maya, I'm in Year 11 from Goal Academy. My name's Sophie, I'm Year 11 from Goal Academy. Hi, my name's Sham Gan, I'm in Year 11, I go to Goal Academy. Hi, I'm Mackenzie, I'm Year 11 at Goal Academy. I have enjoyed my time at Goal Academy. One of my favourite memories was probably the France trip. We went to Lille and it was perfect. My best memory about Goal Academy is taking part in sports day every year in the summer as the whole school gets together to support their house team. Everyone gets together and encourages each other, no matter any sporting ability, you can all just have a good time. Uh, one of my favourite memories is when we did the uh, talent concert and I didn't perform exactly but I hosted it and it was very cool uh, because I got to tell some cracking jokes, got the whole audience laughing. One of my proudest moments at Goal Academy has been being able to do sports leaders every week with primary school children and this involves us running competitions, even going into the primary schools and seeing you um, and being able to run sessions with you guys. Yeah, it's really great because we get to be a part of the local community and we get to see you all and hopefully then see you when you progress onto here. I think people would really enjoy moving to Gold Academy, it's amazing. It's a lovely place to be and the atmosphere is always really good. You should be really excited about moving up to Gold Academy, there's loads of opportunities. After all, I managed to host my own concert. I would 100% recommend you move on here because of the opportunities you get, all of the things you get to be a part of. The teachers are very supportive and we're just like a big family. We are now outside a Year 7 history class. The Year 7s are learning about the plague. Let's go inside. We are now going to talk to a Year 7 student in history class. What have you been learning in history so far? In history so far we have learned about the Black Death, the Tolan Man and Romans. What do you like about Gull Academy? The teachers are really nice and I've made a lot of new friends. If you could give any advice to the Year 6s, what would it be? Keep working hard and keep smiling. Hi, I'm Ava. I'm in Year 7 from Gould Academy. At first, um, I was very nervous because I'd come from a very small primary school, and I mean very small, and I've moved up to a massive high school, and I mean massive. I thought I'd get lost finding my way around school from class to class, but it's helped that Year 7s are in one building and on one floor, it's, so it's helped 100%. I thought I wasn't going to make any friends, but I've made friends with lots of people. Hi, I'm Mia and I'm in Year 7 at Goal Academy. When I first came to Goal Academy, I realised that the members of staff were really understanding and would help you with anything. Hi, I'm Alexia and I'm in Year 7 at Goal Academy. At first, I felt really scared that trying to find the classrooms, I'd get lost. But then now that I'm here, I'm really enjoying it and the teachers are really friendly and I've made a lot of friends. Hi, I'm Katie and I'm in Year 7 at Goal Academy. At first I was really nervous to come because I thought that people wouldn't like me because I'm into a lot of things that most people are, like vampires, werewolves, ghost theories. But now I'm here, like there's a lot of people that like the sort of things I'm into. 
You'll always find people that are into the same things as you, so it's very easy to make new friends. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm in Year 7 at Goal Academy. At first I was really nervous and I thought I was going to be alone and not make any friends, but since I've been here I've made lots of new friends. I'm Oliver and I'm in Year 7 at Goal Academy. I was really scared in Year 6 about moving up to Goal Academy, but now I know that there's loads of staff that support you and they're very helpful. Hi, I'm George and I'm a Year 7 student at Gull Academy. At first I was worried about moving up and fitting in, but now I can be myself and I've made lots of new friends. Hi, I'm Alia and I'm a Year 7 at Gull Academy. So in Year 6 eyes, I was really anxious about moving to a new school. Big schools are like where I move around and I thought that I would lose every classroom that I was in. And I thought I wouldn't make any friends. Now I've made even more friends than I did in primary school. to drama lesson now. Let's ask the students some questions. What are you doing in today's lesson? We're doing actions to help learn a different type of chorus that we've been taught. What's your favourite thing in drama? And um, we get to act and work together and mm. like help each other work things out and get to perform things. Hi, I am Alfie. I'm a Year 8 at Goal Academy. Today we'll be picking out random questions that will be helpful to new students. What do you do if you see bullying or are getting bullied? Bullying is not tolerated in this school, so if you go speak to your year leader, then it will be sorted. Hi, my name is Louie and I'm a Year 8 at Goal Academy. Do you do all your lessons in the same room? No, at Goal Academy you move around through different classrooms so it's not the exact same over and over again. Hi, my name is Jack, I'm a Year 8 at Goal Academy. What clubs are there? There are a variety of clubs from unicycling to food. There are also a lot of sports clubs. Hi, my name is Alicia and I'm in Year 8 from Goal Academy. Do you get time to be with your friends? Yes you do, you get lots of time to be with your friends at break and lunch and you also get to meet lots of new people in lessons. What are the lessons like and are they hard? The lessons are just the difficulty to your capability. If you are like finding it easy then you'll just get extension tasks and if you're struggling then you'll get extra help. Do you get homework? You don't get the usual homework, you get something called a knowledge organiser that you do once a week and teachers can assign you online sources called GCSE, Pod, Language Not and Hegarty Maths. Are the teachers strict? The teachers won't be strict if you do your work and behave, but if you are bad in class they will take action. 
Is it hard to find your way around school? No, because there are so many classrooms for one lesson and so they're all on the same corridor so it's fine, easy to find your way around. How long are breaks and what can you do? You can play ping pong, talk, sit at benches and get food from the snack bar. At dinner you can get oven cooked meals or pasta pots. There is a variety of puddings and drinks. Morning break is 20 minutes and dinner is 30 minutes. If we get lost and are late to class, we'll be in trouble. It mainly depends what you're late for. If you're late because you fight, you lost your way, then you're not going to get told off. But if you're late because you decided to hang out with your mates, you're probably going to get told off. If you're a bit lost, then just tell a teacher because they'll be really understanding and tell you how to work it out. How is the school day organised? There are five lessons every day and there also is break, tutor and lunch in between. The school day starts at 8.25 and it finishes at 2.30. How many subjects are there? In Year 7 there are a lot of uh, different subjects. There are also a lot in Year 8, 9, 10 and 11. It's mainly the normal stuff like English, science, maths, you get it. And there's also ones that you probably didn't do in primary like design, tech and food. Here we are in science and it looks like they're doing some experiments. Let's go ask some questions. So what happens at the start of your lessons? Well first when we get in the lesson, we have a do now on the board and a title that our teacher has made for us. What do your teachers do to help you during lessons? We have a sheet with five questions on, which is called You Know The Drill, and it helps us remember what we've done in previous lessons. And what happens at the end of your lessons? We do a demonstrate, which shows if we've learned anything during the lesson, we get a certain colour, red, orange or green, and if you get green, you've got the best and the hardest questions at the start of the lesson uh, the next day. Why do you guys like science? I love science because it's so fun. My teacher's great and we do lots of experiments. Hi, I'm Maya and I'm in Year 9 and I go to Gould Academy. I'm Oakley in Year 9 at Gould Academy. One of the best things about our school is the trips to other places. For example, we went to a public speaking competition at White College last year. We spoke about how music is important and how it benefits lives daily. We practised in front of staff briefing and in front of our own classes and this boosted our confidence. It was nerve wracking but we did a great job and the best bit was the McDonald's on the way home. Overall this was an amazing experience and I would love to do it again.
Now we are going to an English lesson where we're learning about Romeo and Juliet. And what have we been learning about in English? We've been analysing the language used within Romeo and Juliet. And what do you find interesting about English? We use a lot of different techniques to figure out what is going on within different pieces of literature. Have you got any advice for the year sixes that will be coming to Girl Academy in the future? Although the school looks really, really big and intimidating, once you learn your way around, you should be fine and just be enthusiastic in what you do. Hi, I'm Ashley in year 10 at Goal Academy. Hi, I'm Evie from Goal Academy and I'm in year 10. Hi, I'm Evie in year 10 at Goal Academy. Hi, I'm Myra in year 10 at Goal Academy. Today we are going to tell you the top 10 positives about Goal Academy. At number 10 there is the food. The food at Goal Academy is very affordable. There is a variety of options including vegan and vegetarian. At number 9 we have our enrichment opportunities. We do not just focus on work in school, we also focus on sport and subject trips after school. At number eight, we have our transport links. Whether you're walking, biking or coming by bus, School Academy is in a great location. At number seven, we have the school uniform. The uniform at School Academy always looks smart and there's no bullying about what we wear as we're all wearing the same, meaning there's no competition. At number six, we have our great facilities. Lots of IT rooms, massive playing fields and a well-stocked library. At number five is the cleanliness and environment at Goal Academy. This is a big part of our school as every student takes pride in their learning area. At number four there is the behaviour policy. The behaviour expectations at Goal are very clear. Good behaviour is rewarded but bad behaviour doesn't go unnoticed. At number three we have student support. We support our students both academically and pastorally. Students always have someone to go to when needed. At number two we have our amazing GCSE results that have improved over the last two years, gaining students passes in English and Maths. At number one we have the quality of teaching and learning at Gull Academy. We have a good learning environment with modern classrooms and most importantly amazing teachers. My name is Jan, I'm in Year 8 and I go to School Academy. My name is Archit, I'm in Year 8 and I go to School Academy. Hi, my name is Emma, I'm in Year 8 and I go to School Academy. Hi, my name is Enya, I'm in Year 8 and I go to School Academy. My name is Charlie, I'm in Year 8 and I go to School Academy. I'm Ruby, I'm in Year 8 and I go to School Academy. The atmosphere in Gull Academy is very welcoming, especially to those who are entering Year 7. The atmosphere at Gull Academy is incredibly friendly and we're always greeted by our teachers in the morning. It is a very warm place because everyone is really friendly and kind. New students coming up to Gull can expect a lot of support from their teachers during their lessons. You can expect extremely fun lessons and fun practicals because your teachers care about what you learn about. My favourite lesson is maths because I find it very challenging. My favourite lesson is design technology because you get to do lots of fun things like working with wood and working with metal. 
One of my favourite things about Gaul are the lunchtime facilities because there is so much to choose from. My favourite lesson is French with Mr Victor because he makes the lessons really fun. My favourite lesson is art with Mr Robertson. He's just really supportive. Gaul Academy is a very big school but don't worry about getting lost because there are plenty of people around to help. If a new student wants to get lost in Gaul Academy, it's very easy to find your way as there are signs almost everywhere. There are many teachers about, so you can ask your teachers and check your planners to make sure you are in the right place. If a new student needs support with homework, you can just go and ask your teacher and they will help you out. Do your homework like on the first day you get it, but if you can't try and do it, the day after that so then um, you know that um, you've definitely done it and so it's all fresh in your mind. But if you're struggling with your homework you can go to student reception or ask your teachers and they will help you from there. In Google Academy you don't have to be scared about making friends because everyone's really friendly here and you can make friends really easy. All you need to do is um, like start talking to them then um, You'll, you'll make loads of friends. It's really easy to make friends because the teachers are always encouraging you to hang around with other people and it makes your school experience a lot better. There are so many after school clubs in Goal Academy but I chose to do robotics. I used to play keyboards in the after school music club. When I was in year seven I was looking to do an extracurricular club so I decided to do unicycling. I enjoy doing the netball club after school because they have excellent sports facilities. There are many extracurricular clubs such as cooking club where I baked many sweet treats.